From the CBS Bay Area studios, this is KPIX 5 News. Ukraine's president makes a direct plea to the U.S. for more help to defend his country. I'm Natalie Brand with President Biden's response, plus the military assistance the White House is sending. With 20 traffic deaths since just the start of the year, we take a look at San Jose's plan for safer streets and service issues and delays on BART just as more people are getting back on board. So what's being done to keep everyone moving? Good afternoon, I'm Sarah Donchi. Our top story on at KPIX on 3 o'clock, streaming on CBS News Bay Area, the president of Ukraine making a desperate appeal to Congress for more U.S. support. He wants a no-fly zone over his country and other support as well. Let's get straight over to Natalie Brand, who is live at the White House for us today. Natalie, what do we know? Hi, Sarah. President Zelensky speaking directly to members of Congress and also to the White House said if he cannot get that humanitarian no-fly zone, then he needs more air support. He told lawmakers the destiny of his country is being decided. Still ahead on KPIX 5 and streaming on CBS News Bay Area. Interest rates are going up. I'm Michael George, and I'll tell you how it will affect everything from loans to prices at the grocery store. Plus, are you an elite sleeper? How Bay Area researchers say some people can function on just four hours of sleep a night. Not one of those people. Plenty of sunshine out there on this Wednesday afternoon. Bright blue skies, some more cloud cover moving in tomorrow. Those clouds drop any rain. We'll take a look at the forecast all the way into the weekend coming up. New at three, researchers at UCSF found that people with certain genes can pack the benefits of a full night's sleep into just four to six hours. They say that they're so-called elite sleepers and that they can shield against neurodegenerative diseases. They identified five genes that play a role in efficient sleep and say they're usually hereditary. Thank you so much. Still ahead, nine celebrities taking on challenges in the jungle, all for a good cause. We go behind the scenes of CBS's latest reality contest. I'm MPS Taya bin Lviv. Tonight on the CBS Evening News, as Russia's brutal onslaught only spreads across Ukraine, here in the west of the country, we meet up with volunteers who are training how to use weapons of all kinds as they brace for battle. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. We are following some breaking news right now. Just minutes ago, Oakland police announced three people have been charged in connection with the death of a former police officer and security guard, Kevin Nishida. And earlier, our Gianna Franco caught up with some of the contestants. You can catch her interview today on CBS News Bay Area. You can watch our stream wherever, whenever. Find us on Pluto TV, Channel 1021, and on any platform using the free CBS News app. And coming up here at 3, why you might be greeted by this guy if you plan to fly through SFO soon. We'll tell you about the airport's new addition. Coming up at 5, Californians may actually be missing the mark when it comes to water conservation, where the Bay Area stands and turning off the tap. But before we go here at 3, there's a new member of SFO's WAG Brigade. Not a dog, but a rabbit. They say Alex the Great is a 28-pound Flemish giant rabbit who loves to greet travelers. But Paul... You can't take him on the plane. You can't. But that's the same rabbit that actually kind of just broke Twitter when he was at the, a Giants game last oh, year. Oh, like okay. They, they just kept cutting to this giant rabbit in the stands, <laughs> right, and he kept coming back sense. and bringing him good luck. So. Oh, well, there you go. He'll bring you luck for your flight. That's it for yeah. KPIX 5 News at 3. CBS Evening News is next. Tonight, President Zelensky's impassioned plea to Congress, invoking 9-11 and Pearl Harbor, begging for help and a no-fly zone, plus the new military equipment and millions of dollars in aid President Biden is promising Ukraine.